I've got the uh, spout and two pie cuts welded to a curved section of the header that I cut apart. And um, I'm way out of practice on thin stainless, so I'm not gonna grind any of those welds, but they're certainly not the prettiest thing I've ever done. I've got this pipe coming out this way, and uh, I've got the turbo just, it, nothing's holding it together right now because I, I can clock it wherever I want just to see where everything's going to end up. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is put it right about here and 90 this into there. And then I'll have this pipe. Hmm. Yep, I'll have this pipe. Um, if I put this wheel straight, does that... I could take that exhaust back over to the uh, left side, I suppose. So if I went into there, just a 90, and then went back across the bike over there with the exhaust, but then another thing I'm running into is I was going to put the oil tank and stuff down here, so I don't really want exhaust there. So, put the exhaust like this, and then turn it down immediately, or I just... Uh, decisions, decisions. Nothing's ever easy. I think I'm going to worry about the exhaust like out to atmosphere last I think I'm just gonna 90 this right in there and I can always try and figure this out later because I've got I've got room to go over that way I've got room to go down I've got room to go back over here so I'm just gonna 90 this right into there I could set it back a little bit, but I don't want to get this turbine housing too close to this water pipe. I don't want to get it too close to the plastics here either, because it'll it'll melt either one if it's too close. So I think about like that. Try not to drop this because like I said that turbo's not actually together. So right there. And I want it this center lined to there, into there. I've still got room for the wastegate actuator over here. That's what I'm going to go with. So I'm going to try and stick that right there. And then I can have my air intake back here. I can change the angle of where the filter and everything is. The filter's actually got a little kick to it, so it'll be um, back in this cavity. So that's that's the plan for now. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I took the angle grinder to this and put a little bit more angle on it. And then I've got is this one, two, three pie sections plus this uh, little piece is cut at an angle. That's not the, the smoothest right there, but it honestly doesn't matter. This isn't like, Obviously, it's not a super high performance build. If you were doing that, you'd get some really nice mandrel bends, or you, you know, you'd actually, you know, laser cut a bunch of pie cuts to put together. I'm just doing this with a bandsaw, so it's not, it's not that accurate. So that's where I've got it. Um, when I tip the bike upright, it looks like it's about right. I've got some uh, marks across there, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off and weld this to that. Put it on there, slap the turbo bits in there, and see how it looks. So there it is, hanging on there. All the pipe sections just, uh, from, from this piece up, it's welded from here. This way it's all just tacked in case I need to change it. But uh, go ahead and uh, drop the center section in here. And then I'll put compressor side housing on just to kind of see where I'm at. That's looking good. Um, get the bike upright here. 
think I'm just gonna just hold the center section in. Pull the bike upright, change the camera angle so you guys can see it. Try not to drop the bike on me so that. They're actually pretty level. Once I sit on it, it'll go, it'll be even better. So I think that'll be all right. But I don't think I have this clocked in far enough because by the time I put this on, well, I got to get that actuator back there too. So that's probably fine. Uh, I'll move the camera so you guys can see a little better. So I think I can get that actuator back there and now I need to uh, address the air filter. So, well, I guess that's not really going to be in the way and I have an angled one so I can angle it up this way. Um, get you in line a little better. See what I'm talking about I suppose. So my concern is um, this being in the way of my leg and everything and that air filter hitting here but I can always just take a pie cut out of this and just kick it up at a, at a little bit of an angle over this way into, into the cavity where uh, the pair valve, the charcoal canister, all that stuff was. So I'm, I was kind of aiming for this general area with the air filter. So um, I'll just 90 and then you see, the next thing is, is the air filter going to interfere with the charge pipe? So the charge pipe is going to come up and back and in there. That was kind of the last thing I was going to worry about because there's really not an easy way to do it because you got to make a 180 degree turn minimally to get into that throttle body. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the turbo and reassemble it. Um, I'll also finish weld all these little pipe sections. I don't think I want that turned inward at all. It would be a lot easier if I actually had the actuator and everything on it. But I took it all apart for ease of use for porting and all that. So let's do this. Look at this guy. <laughs> That's the next thing is this wants to be here. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to cut part of this this bracket here off to clear all of this. I'll bring you over here and see if you can see it any better. So because this mount here See that doesn't it doesn't go back there. So to get this into that wastegate actuator, there it is. So to get this to go this way, ah, oh, it hits there too. Damn it! Let's see, it. see this wants to be like back here. But I don't want this out here. So I'm just going to have to build a whole new bracket to hold this wastegate actuator because it's not going to fit. That's just super. And I'm not putting an external wastegate on this thing. It's just not worth it. Can I rotate that down? No, can't rotate it up or down or I wonder if I even need to use a wastegate. I could probably get away with it, but why risk it? That goes in there. That goes there. Damn it. Can't have that that close. Maybe I just put this underneath and make a custom linkage of some sort. It goes here and it holds this 
side of the turbo in is the problem. Go here. Ah, this is gonna be a pain. I'll figure it out and let you know.